Grade 7 Math, number 4.3a, Graphing Proportional Relationships. I talked about in 4.2 that a proportion is an equation that states two ratios are equal, that they're equivalent. So in this table here, we've got 25 over 1 is equal to 50 over 2. 25 divided by 1 is equal to 50 divided by 2. Because we've got the amount of money as 25 cents is over the number of quarters we have. So one quarter is 25 cents, two quarters is 50 cents, etc. So the n amount of money we have is our y value, and the number of quarters we have is our x value. They're in proportion to the number of quarters, the amount of money. And we have a proportional relationship, don't they? And they can be drawn on a graph as ordered pairs, as x and y values. Here's our x values, the number of quarters, and our y values would be the amount of money. And we know from the previous video that we can find the constant of proportionality by using this formula, k equals y divided by x. And we can see that that would work. 25 divided by 1 is 25, so our constant of proportionality would be k, it would be 25. We can use the values of y and x to represent the x and y values to make the ordered pairs we need. We could graph it. The first one is the x value, the second one is the y value. So we'd have 1 and then a comma and a 25 or a 2 comma 50. And these are our ordered pairs. Now if you're really confused about all this, you need to go back to see Joanne School Grade 6 Math. You can either go in the playlist and scan down for number 10.9 and 10.10, .10, or you can just type in Joanne School Grade 6 and 10.9, 10.10. And you can review the ordered pairs and the coordinate grid and the Cartesian graphs there, okay? Get a quick little review. All right, so now we're going to use nickels and the number of nickels. The amount of nickels we have is in proportion to the amount of money we'll have. And this could table could go on forever, couldn't it? We could have five, six, seven, eight, nine. We could have a thousand, couldn't we? And it would just keep going on forever with the value of how much money we've got. And using the number of nickels as x and the amount of money as y, we can make ordered pairs. Here's an ordered pair, here's an ordered pair, and here's an ordered pair, and here's an ordered pair. See? We have x is 1 and y is 5, x is 1, y is 5, x is 2, y is 10, x is 2, y is 10, and see, we've got our ordered pairs, and we can graph them on a coordinate grid as points. We can connect the points and even make a line. So here's a small grid, and it shows our y-axis. This is our y number line, showing our y values and it's the, the amount of money we have, and then and it runs vertically, and then running horizontally across this way, like the horizon and the sunset, is the number of nickels. That's our x-axis. It's our x value, okay? And we can have them meet according to the ordered pairs. So if we have a 1 as an x and a 5 as a y, we go to 1 on the x line, and we go up until we hit 5 on the y line, and then we make our point right here. The next one says 2 comma 10, x is 2, y is 10. So we go to 2 on the x, and we go all the way up to 10 for the y, and that's our point there. And then we can get a ruler and draw a line through them. And you can see that if we had no nickels, we would have no money. And so it would run through the 0, 0 line. That's the origin, see? So this is how we can graph them. It would look like this on a big coordinate grid. And you can see the origin, the 0, 0 line, and that's all in quadrant 1 because these are positive numbers. And you can see that the 1 meets at 5, and the 2 for the x meets at 10. And we could keep going up to 3, 15, 4, 20. See? And there's four quadrants on this Cartesian graph. See? That's quadrant 1, 2, 3, and 4. All right? So our x value becomes our x coordinate, it's always the first one, and our y value becomes the y coordinate, it's always the second value, for our ordered pairs and where they will meet on the graph, where we will plot their points. It's called plotting the points. If we have zero nickels, we have zero cents, and the line would run through the origin, the zero, zero. Doesn't that kind of look like a little face with a nose? So if we owe a nickel, we would owe 5 cents, and we could even write the ordered pairs as a negative 1 comma negative 5. We could plot that too. So remember, the x value is the first, the y value is the second one. This is x, then y, in an ordered pair. Okay?
I'm going to continue talking about graphing proportional relationships, and I'll see you in video 4.3b, and I hope this has been helpful, and I'll see you next video. Bye.